Defending Super Modified Champion Dave Schulich Jr. picked up right where he left off in 2017 to start his latest campaign. Main difference for 2018? Head wrench of the number two during the week and race day, it would now belong to longtime Super Modified mechanic Jim Paternoster. The night started off with a heat race victory, which secured a top three starting spot for the first of the twin 50s. With just two laps in, Schulich was able to power around the coacher teammate Sitterly, and a handful of laps later would seize a lead from returning Dave Danzer in the familiar number 52. Schulich would go on to make it an easy look in the first 50 lapper, capturing the victory. The second twin 50 of the night would find the number two a bit further back in the pack as the green flag waved. A close call with a loose tire from a spinning Joe Gosick slowed the progress of the number two. The ensuing restart would show Schulich's car test the high side and entering turn three, got out of the groove, slamming into the turn three foam, sending the number two back to the pits in a 16th place finish for the night. After a two week break to make repairs to the Nicotra number two, Schulich would not seem to skip a beat. The blue two came right back to battle his way into the top three before halfway point of the feature on June 9th. A late race restart, Shula grabbed the lead and would hold off teammate Otto Sitterly to score in win number two on the season. With momentum on his side, Shula came into the twin 35s looking to claim another victory, if not two, from his front row starting spot. Shula was able to jump right out front and start the first twin 35. A major turning point this season would occur around halfway point, as Nakota Racing teammates Sitterly and Shula made contact battling for the lead. The resulting contact sent the number two of Schulich up into the turn four wall with damage. Obviously not too happy with what transpired on the track, Schulich pulled up and bumped the number seven of Sitterly to express his displeasure. Schulich then headed into the pits to the attention of Jim Paternoster and crew to check things out. The number two would make it back out on the track, but the wounded car was only able to muster a 13th place finish. This marked a huge blow in the championship standings as Schulich went from battling for points lead to fifth in points after two bad finishes on June 16th. With another two week break before heading back to the Oswego Speedway, the Nakotra Racing No. 2 crew paired the Hawk chassis for the 75 lapper of the year, the Grand Prix 75. Ironically, both Schulich and Sitterly would start the event side by side in the fifth row. The duo would shadow each other throughout the first half of the Independence Weekend Special. Some great spirited racing took place between the two teams as they both showed their speed and kept it clean while maneuvering through traffic. Schulich was probably a bit more fired up after the disastrous outing the last time. He made a valiant three wide move down the backstretch to take over the top spot. Schulich would remain unchallenged for the remainder of the 75 lap event and claimed win number three for the season. When July 7th rolled around, Schulich would once again open the month battling teammate Sitterly as they charged up through the pack. A great show was put on for the fans in the stands, but Schulich was unable to hold off a much faster Sitterly on this night. With a great move of sportsmanship, Dave would pull alongside Otto down the backstretch and high-five teammate Sitterly. Another top five spot on July 14th gave the number two team the advantage needed to set his sights on victory lane. Schulich would charge to the front in just two laps, working high and low. The night was his, as Schulich would absolutely dominate the feature event, leaving everyone else in the dust to capture win number four. The 2018 Mr. Super Modified 75 found the Nicotra Racing teammates side by side once again in the fourth row at the drop of the green flag. Sitter would get off to a better launch on the start, but Schulich remained in his tire tracks all the way up to the top three. Schulich's run seemed to stall out once he got to the third spot and was unable to reel in the lead duo. Schulich would have to settle in for a third place finish, but still a podium finish at that. Come August 4th, Schulich seemed to recapture the speed he lacked in the last time on the track and showed how strong he was by winning his qualifying heat race to start the night. The retro night 45 would showcase another outstanding duel between the Nicotra racing teammates, while also incorporating the retro eight ball of Keith Champagne. While Barnes would walk away out front, the battle for second was retro in itself. Schulich would remain strong and grab another podium finish, third for the night. On August 11th, the feature would see Schulich take the green flag just outside the top 10. Like the past few events, Schulich put on a show battling with Barnes and Champagne Boat. Soon after reaching the top five, Schulich's ride began experiencing problems, and he was forced to head pit side. Schulich returned to action, but only managed to garner a ninth place finish with a single race remaining. 
Track Championship night found Schulich still in the top three in points, trailing teammate Sitterly by 77 markers. The task was a bit too tall to claim the back-to-back -back championship, but remaining in the top three in points was a top priority. Starting well back in the field outside the top ten, Schulich had his work cut out for him. An early race melee off turn four almost caught the number two, but Schulich was able to narrowly avoid the spinning cars. Schulich was all but assured a podium points finish when the Sorrell number 68 of Michael Barnes pulled into the pits nose first. Schulich had nothing more to gain and could not keep pace with the top three cars after some front wing damage. The Nocotra Racing number two was able to bring home another top five finish with a fourth place finish behind veteran Joe Gozik. While gaining eight top fives, nine top tens, four wins, and three finishes outside the top ten, Schulich was able to overcome adversary and claim second in points for 2018. Congratulations to defending Novellus Super Modified Champion, driver of the Nicotra Racing number two, Dave Schulich Jr.